Today we are going to have a look inside the Dungeons and Dragons Essential Kit, the newest in a long line of things for 5th edition. Is the Essentials Kit worth your money? What does it include and where can you buy it? All that coming up after this. Hello everyone and welcome to DM Prince. Today I'm having a look at the Dungeons and Dragons Essential Kit. Something new from Wizards of the Coast for new and old players. I think personally this is amazing. Having a look at the kit, I have ordered it straight away. Amazon have a deal on it at the moment. You can get the link in the little doobaloo below. It's just so much better than the starter set. I personally own the starter set, I have it here, and it's not the greatest. Now the Essentials Kit rulebook is a 64 page booklet and it offers important rules made by D&D. This is no different I think from the starter set, but once I get mine I'll be able to do an in-depth review on that. It also has some limited character creation options for you. The starter set doesn't have that. The starter set has pre-generated characters. So this offers you a lot more for your table at a beginner's level because you can just straight away start to personalize your character. No one likes playing a pre-generated character. I can tell you that now. People like to make their own and if you make it really simple for them nearly everyone's going to pick that simple option where you can just customize a few little bits. So I think that is a perfect idea from Wizards of the Coast straight away. Uh, there's a book with sample spells and magic items. Wow. People want magic items and people want to use spells. But they think they're too complicated so they don't include them. It's the same as in the starter set. They don't really include magic items at all. And my players want loot. And they're like, oh, I heard D&D &D has loot. I heard that there's magic, magic in the world. There's magic items. And then there's no magic items at all. The essential kit also has several cards and depending on how they've done these I think these will be amazing. I'm a real fan of this so far. Everything they've done so far is making me thumbs up really really happy. So they've got conflict uh, conflict cards, combat cards which will help you know like sort of the basic order of combat. I've been wanting these for years. Initiative cards Brilliant. I use initiative cards. I make my own. I do use little tabs over the top of my DM screen. But it's brilliant that they're actually including that. They're actually noticing that, oh yeah, combat cards are good. We want them. Sidekick rules. Yes. Yes. There's always things for things like familiar. Depending on how they've done these, the sidekick rules would be amazing. So they could actually control their sidekick to some degree rather than the GM doing all the work. We'll see how they've done that. That seems like maybe a bit of a more advanced thing for advanced players. So it's actually, this essential kit is reaching out to different um, levels of play. So whether you're new or you're an experienced player, you get something new out of this. I am quite an experienced GM and oh my goodness, this is, this is making me really excited to play it. I'm really looking forward to the NPC cards. I'm looking forward to how they've done them because I've made my own in the past. I'm looking forward to the sidekick rules especially. That looks amazing as well. A little side note, the dice that you get, you get 4d6. 4d6. Finally, people can roll their characters and you have enough dice. So if you're completely brand new, this gives you everything you need to start. It's so annoying when you do character creation and you roll 4d6 and you take the top three rolling 1d6 and having to memorize every single one of the scores it's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous so mwah, well done they offer you a new unique dm screen as well i might just i was going to just buy it for the dm screen yes i know i'm eventually going to do a review on all the different dm screens and which one i think is best for you to buy so i need to get this one as well to help me with my collection but Nice new art on it that I've looked at, and it's got just little bits of rules on it. I don't know whether it will be much better than the original DM screen, because that is one of my favourite DM screens, but it's nice that there's new art on it, new DM screen for you, and there's just a range of things in here. They also have a double-sided map for you, which the Forgotten Realm maps, as you know, are just beautiful anyway. Depending on how these are done, I think this will be essential, <laughs> the essentials kit, for you in your D&D &D session. And this is perfect for those new 
players to get into Dungeons and Dragons. Whereas if you're like me, an experienced player, I'm going to buy it to just to see some of the extra things that it can offer, such as the cards. The cards are the thing I'm interested in most, the sidekick rules and the GM screen. They're the things for experienced players, whereas if you're a new player, you get everything you need to start your game. Now the starter set also does this. Link will also be in the doobly-doo if you want the starter set, but I would recommend the essentials kit more because it has extra things. Customized character options, you don't want to play just some dwarf that you don't know and you don't really care about. You'd rather create your own character. And this makes it in a really simple, easy way for first sessions, rather than you having to go through the big rigmarole of making a character, especially if you're new. It's quite daunting, quite a big task. This simplifies it for you. The rules have been simplified in this, but I feel like they'd be the same as the starter set. But you also get extra dice. And I know it seems really silly, but... Extra dice is extra good, is all I'm going to say. And I believe these dice are actually pretty nice dice. They're not just the standard, like, board game-ish dice. They've got a little bit of a design to them. Which, for me, bonus points. So, overall, in this review, this is looking really, really promising. I'm looking at giving this, like, a 9 out of 10. Just by looking at all the information that I've found. But I will let you know, um, as the Essentials Kit will come. And I will give it another review once it's actually here. But from everything that I've read, it seems so much better than the starter set and something you must buy. They named this quite correctly the Essentials Kit because I feel like for new players it's essential and for experienced players it's something to help you enhance your game even further. Anyway, I've been the DM Prince. Make sure to hit a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. And if you're interested in this kit, the link is in the doobly-doo below.